guys, welcome to the Humanity. My name is Ever, and today's coloring adventure is a new series that I want to do on my channel called Let's Try. So I have recently come into a lot of new uh, supplies, at least new to me, I should say. And I thought I would sort of do like a review and do a little coloring with said supplies. So today we are going to try the Sheffield Crafts dual tip brush markers. There are a set of 36. I love the little case it comes in because it's literally just like the carrying case. They are water-based, acid-free, non-toxic. I got these at TJ Maxx for $6 on clearance. So let's give these a shot. And I'm using a page picture from the Johanna Basford World of Flowers calendar, I think it was 2021, <clears throat> that I still have laying around. I didn't do all the pages, so I thought it would be perfect for this. So, dual tip brush markers, I kind of have a, oh, these are upside down, kind of have a love-hate with these, depending on the dual tip part, because a lot of times the, uh, <clears throat> the one tip will be really crappy and then the other ones will be okay. So we're going to try both and see how it goes. So let's start with the green because we've got some stems and leaves here. And we'll start with the non brush tip because it's brush and bullet. So we got the bullet nib. And let's see what the bullet does. A little scratchy scratchy. I feel like it's probably going to leave some feltiness behind. I like this green color though, this is pretty. We were at TJ Maxx, it was during my birthday celebrations and I was going to get sloppy and do some shopping and get some stuff and I said well let's try TJ Maxx because sometimes they have art stuff. They did have some other stuff too. They had some King Art Tempera paint sticks, which I thought were kind of interesting, but I wasn't really like, I didn't know how I would use them, so I didn't get them. Um, and then, then these were in the clearance section, very inexpensively in the clearance section. Definitely got the water-based streakiness going on that, you know, I, I will admit freely admit I am not a big marker person. I have been burned so badly with markers lately. I have ruined like two pictures, one of which was in Chompy Fluff Monsters and I'm very upset about that. But I ended up ruining a picture because I tried to use markers and it was a disaster. So it, it I like having them because I will use them for some projects but like it's not going to be my go-to right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I do like the colors on this one. I'm going to switch over to another color. Let's do a lighter green. We'll do this color. Let's try the brush part. Very nice. I don't know if this is focusing or not because I don't have the... I cannot see the camera view right now. So let's try... Ooh, the brush is nice. Oh, it looks like that one's going to be the same color because I went over. Okay, these are pretty nice. So, in the title of my video, I also put down um, future channel slash plans. So, I was doing some soul searching and some thinking today about coloring and was kind of looking at my coloring stuff and looking at, um, you know, my box of books where I've got finished pages and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to, you know, film a finished page video in the next week or so. And then usually after filming a finished page video, it's time to film a, uh, plans video for the next month. Like, Hey, I'm going to do this. I've got, you know, these hashtags in mind and these buddy colors and all this stuff. And I think I'm going to stop doing that for a little while. I think I'm going to 
just color. I think I'm just going to um, obviously date the pages in my books. But I'm not going to pile up all the books that I've finished pages in to do a big video at the end of the month. And I know that that is something that is very popular as far as YouTube videos go. Everybody loves the finished pages videos. But there will be plenty of other people doing finished pages videos. You don't have to worry about mine. You know, there's, it, it's something that everybody does. It's something that, you know, people definitely like to do and like to see. I love watching finished pages videos. I love watching them. It's great. I'm not sure I'm really into filming them right now. Um, and that's just, you know, my preference. It doesn't mean I'm not going to film things because I'd like to do a lot more of stuff like this where I, you know, try different products and do like let's tries and, you know, obviously I'm going to do book flips if I get a book, a new book or, you know, reviews on new books, things like that. You know, there's still going to be content on the channel. It's just not going to be um, typical content or the things I did before. I, I'd like to do some more... Um, process related things. I don't do a whole lot of the really fancy hardcore stuff. Um, I'd like to do some like fun speed colors. Obviously more color in chats. That kind of good stuff. But I think I'm just going to color. And I'm just I'm just going to color. I'm just gonna, you know I'm not gonna give myself this weird pressure of okay I finished this page I have to put a sticky note on it and put it in a pile to film a video I don't know I just I'm not I'm not down for that right now and that doesn't mean that that isn't going to come back because it might but it's just not something I'm digging right now and the cool thing is is that I have the freedom to do that you know this is this is my thing, this is my channel, and I have the freedom to be like, you know what? I'm not gonna do that one right now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go there at the moment. I'm not gonna to do this. I'm going to do something else. And I'm trying to think of some other ideas I'd like to do with the channel related to coloring. Um, I haven't decided yet, but I think I'm going to leave, for June, I'm going to leave the buddy colors and the challenges behind. Um, I know there's probably some of you that are like, oh shoot, because we I do a lot of buddy colors with people, but like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not, you know, I'm not leaving the sphere of, of YouTube and all of that. I'm just, or, you know, Instagram, I'm just sort of changing up what I'm doing. So back to the marker things. As I figured it was going to happen, um, the brush end is definitely better than the bullet nib. It seems like it, the ink flows better out of it. Um, it's a little less scratchy. Now it says brush, but it's not actually a brush. It's not moving like a brush, guys. It's just the shape of it. As I feel like most brush markers, let me use those air quotes, have that same situation where it's like, yes, it's shaped like a brush, but it's not going to move like one. It's just going to move like a normal felt tip marker, which is exactly what this is doing. Just a normal felt tip marker. But I will say the colors are very nice. And there's a lot of uh, different colors going on. I'm going to pull out some of the you know, reds and things and do some of the flowers so you guys can see. Here's a purple. Let's make a purple flower. Let's make these little guys up here purple. Now I'm using these on the calendar paper, which is, you know, if you've had the Johanna Basford calendar, you know it's a bit more, it's a bit heavier, it's a little bit more cardstocky than it is regular paper, and uh, no bleed through, obviously. I really, I don't, I like these, I'll use these again for something. Um, there might be enough array of colors that I can use them for color by numbers. I might be able to use these in that Color Questopia book I have because there's like three different yellows and I have three different yellows in here so 
Um, I might be able to use it for that. I might try that later today after I finish this video. But yeah, that's kind of what's been on my mind is kind of where I want to go with coloring. I kind of want to take some of the pressure off and it's self-inflicted pressure. It's not like I'm feeling pressure from people or it's not like, you know, it's not like I'm, it's not like somebody's, you know, bullying me into to doing this stuff. You know, it's not like someone's like, oh, well, you have to, you know, make this video. You have to, you know, do this and do that. It's like, it's just going with the flow and what, what's being done. You know, it's like following along with what other people do. This is what, you know, this is what color tube is. This is making videos about, you know, pages you finished and what you want to color in the next month and stuff. And that's what it is. That's part of what color tube is. And I like watching that. I love doing that. I'm just I think I'm going to take a break in participating in it. I think I'm just going to, I have got shelves and stacks of books that need some love. Some haven't gotten any love at all yet. I need to get into my beauty of horror book. I need to get into the, my other Dover books that I bought. Um, some of the books I got for my birthday, I want to make, give them some more love. I've, colored in a good chunk of them but I want to you know I want to do more with them also this pink is really pretty the colors on this are gorgeous I don't know um what kind of staying power these guys have so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do before they start dying on me which is my least favorite thing about markers is marker chicken I hate marker chicken um and I feel like probably if I get into using markers, it's going to be a dual situation where I'm going to use markers and colored pencils um, because, you know, big spaces are not a good place for markers, especially water-based. Um, I have alcohol markers. I have little faith in those lasting enough to do big projects. Um, it's just... I've gotten really frustrated with it lately, so it's like, I'm just gonna probably do like a dual thing where like I would do this marker, but like back here behind all the flowers, I would just go in with colored pencil because it makes sense. Cause this is like a huge thing. Also this picture is really pretty and I'm gonna need to find this in the book so I can do it in the book. <laughs> Cause I really like this picture. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on in my head. How I want to do things. I'm just going to color with some Reckless Abandon in the next month or two. Um, I'm, I might do seven pages in one book, you know, in the month or something. And obviously I'm still sharing stuff on Instagram because I love doing that. Um, but there are some, like, books I'm really excited to color in more. I kind of really want to dive into the two... Hannah Carlson books I have, Grains of Gold and Tales from the Forest Kingdom. Because I did one in Tales from the Forest Kingdom that turned out so good. And I did the girl in purple. Her skin was purple. And then there was like a color palette of like teal, turquoise, green, um, and like a light blue. And it just turned out so well. And I just made the decision doing that that I... I feel like in Hannah Carlson's books, there's such a, a, a story and a lore to them, you know, unwritten, that I don't feel like anybody in those books should have, should look like a human being, like a normal person. I feel like they're, they're otherworldly fey type beings and they should have purple skin and blue hair or, you know bright yellow skin or green skin or something. I just don't feel like they should be like, you know, normal skin tones. And so I, I plan on not doing any of the people in those books with, with regular skin tones. I also think it's going to be a fun challenge to sort of get those skin tones figured out, kind of find out like how I want to do it. Also, can we talk about how pretty this blue is? It's like super pretty. Like I said, the colors are just phenomenal in these markers. I think um, these were definitely worth it. 
I really like them. I like I said though the the bullet nib is something I would use sparingly. Um, it's much scratchier. It's going to leave more felt on the paper. But I, the brush is really great, especially for getting a little tiny like corner of this petal right here. It just it's easy, you know. And that's the thing too with my coloring coming up is I want to try to do more um, like I want to try to do dual that's what I'm looking for like dual mediums like I want to use more than one medium on a page I don't just want to stick to pencil if I can you know I want to try to do pencil and marker or watercolor like I did one picture in the miniatures one of the miniatures books I did it all in Neocolor 2s, and that was fun to try to figure out. You know, I did that one picture all in watercolor. So I kind of want to play around with that more, too. So I am curious about one thing. So I did the little top up here in the blue. I'm going to try. <laughs> Yay, yellow. <laughs> I may have to put on a light for this. Otherwise, I'm going to have so much uh, empty space, white space showing up on this. But... I forgot a leaf. Oops. There we go. I'm going to see what it looks like if I try to do yellow background on this with marker. So we'll see. Yep, going to need more light. I don't know if this is going to, oh, that's going to wash it out for you guys. So I'll go back once I finish this and like clean up any white space that ends up being left. Ooh, that's almost a neon yellow. I like that. So yeah, these Sheffield Crafts dual tip markers are very nice. This was a really nice find. I will say this was a spouse find. They were tucked away on like a second shelf in the clearance section. And he was like, ooh, look. And I was like, ooh, let's get them. The price was definitely right for them. So I'm not sure how much they were regularly, if they were super expensive, but this price they are fantastic so that's my first let's try I'm looking forward to doing more I have a set of colored pencils that I plan on doing a let's try of I got the mark art colored pencils for my birthday from my in-laws and I'm going to do a video on that next I might do something from beauty of horror with that one I'm not sure yet but it's a really nice set and so I can't wait to dive in and use that more so yeah if you like this video, you know the deal. Let's appease the YouTube gods. Let's give this a little thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time.